Then recording sound. There you go. Anime makes me cry. <laughs> oh god. Are we ready for food? Yes. I'm ready. For coming out yeah, of the portal. Up. I'm making okay. a superhero oh, yeah. that yeah. can freeze time and make portals. And I have to film this this week. <laughs> but I have no idea what I'm doing, so we're gonna storyboard this right now. <laughs> so we're gonna go to FedEx and we're gonna go get some some prints of our character design, like I said before. And I'm outside getting some vit vitamin D, right? That's what you call it. What? Vitamin D? I think so. Yes. Yeah, get some vitamin D. Or and some tan. C. I think it might be C. Vitamin C? D is it D? Yeah. Oh. I love getting the D. Melanin. It's a melanin. you do when you haven't been to the gym in about four weeks you just squat in place while you go get your project printed multitasking um. all right i'm done <laughs> i can't squat <laughs> all right let's go into the mic. So we're gonna go to get some rolled ice cream. Hello, Liz. And because Jess, Jess couldn't, Jess, I called her Jess. Jenna kind of, kind of messed up her, her character animation pretty bad. Um, like the quality was like super low. And because of that, she has to redo it all. And because of that, we had to leave her so she could focus on it and we helped her as best as we could. But now we're gonna get rolled ice cream because I've never had rolled ice cream. Apparently ice cream roll tastes better. Right? Right. Right. So, let's get some ice cream.
Okay, just move back to my dorm and we're gonna pull it out. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh no, my fan. Oh, no, this out. Oh, I love it. It's glorious. Hey guys, so I am back in my dorm. I just got off the bus with Liz to get the ice cream, and I am really tired. I really want to take a nap, but I cannot. Zai have a thing called homework that, that never ends, so that's fantastic. But what I am going to talk about is my character design and I'll go over like some rough images and sketches for you, so you know my thought process uh, was going into doing this thing. And then also for the rest of the day, I'm just gonna be doing homework. Like I have to do a paper for my history of animation class, have to like talk about an animation that he assigned us. So I gotta do that. And then also I have to, um, oh fudge, I just drew a blank. Do my walk test again after we have a redo. We always have a redo after every animation. So um, I'm gonna redo my walk test. We only have to do two contacts this time. And I'm gonna redo the Pink Panther walk test. And then when that's done, because that's gonna take me all freaking night, um, then I go to bed and I start a whole new day. My life is never ending amounts of homework. Anyways, let's show you some of this really cool character design I did because why not? So this is what my creative mess looks like. I'm gonna organize this really quick before I go into like talking about everything because this is really messy, like extremely messy and it's not okay. Okay, so I kind of organized into like some sort of pileage for you guys. Before we kick off, I just want to thank Autograph. They are not sponsoring me any way, shape or form, but this giant light pad that my dad got from them the Pro 1700, it's 17 by 17, I believe. It is freaking huge and brighter than the stairs. Oh God, I'm getting grid lines. Um, yeah, it's really nice. And I'm so thankful for Artograph because I'm able to do my homework. So Artograph, if you want to sponsor me, please, <laughs> please do, I'm struggling. So I guess before we really get into like the polished drawings I have here, we got to go back to the original. So this is my original design. It was like, I was trying to go for a more vintage look out of her, like a vintage uh, Girl Scout leader. So with like a long uh, dress and she's got the bow tie and everything. And at this point I had um, patches sewn to her arms and she had two utility belts. And she still got the eye patch and the scar, I kept that. And I did keep the hair and I kept the tie. And that was about it. But yeah, that's what she uh, originally looked like before I decided to change her. Then I went to something a little more like this. Now this looks badass. In my opinion, I think this looks really cool. So this is my design, and so then I went on from there. So this is like the first sketch I did for it. So I needed to create action poses. So here's some of my action poses. This is her throwing cookies. This is her with like a cookie like standoff, I guess, as you would say. Um, there's that pointy one I did earlier, and then here's a little bit more, more rendered, and then of course the final render was this bad boy. Here's another action pose I did in three quarter turn, and um, basically she rips off her eye patch and exposes her eye, and she's screaming like a warrior scream. So this is, this is the render drawing, and then here it is with kind of sketches, so I was like really like trying to like refine it. Um, so I didn't make mistakes on the on the render. This is it in its rough form. This is it in its sketch form. Look at that. Woo, that's a lot of line work, too much line work. Um, and then same thing, here's the other action pose that I decided to go with, where she has like cookies, but to like chuck them at some people, some kids, some Girl Scouts. Um, so it goes from that to that was my um, initial drawing, which is, was this bad boy right here. This is the first sketch I did, and then this was like the semi-rendered version of that sketch. So, yeah. And with any character design, you have to do a turnaround. So this is my turnaround, this is the back of it. And I've also put together the sketches for you. So this is the first sketch, and then um, the semi-rendered version. And then here, 
we have the side profile. So this is what the body would look like underneath with all the shapes in its, uh, I guess, uh, organic shape form. And then this is, this is the render version I have right here. And then this is the, the semi-rendered version. I did a lot of versions of this one, so I wanted to get it right. So this is like the body without the arms. And then here's the body with the arm and some added detail in the shoes and the feet and the hands and collar. So to go back on the comment and what I said earlier about having the organic shape underneath, this is what I mean, you have to break down the character. So this is my breakdown character right here. As you can tell, I use a lot of cylinders and um, action lines with um, preferred lines underneath so you can see the volume of it. This is not perfect yet. I really want to perfect her shape of her body because this probably isn't exactly right, um, but it's something that you can definitely play with. So now we have the straight ahead drawing right here. This is a straight ahead fully rendered. And here it is without the added detail of like the vest, the utility belt, the patches and so forth. So that's something bit more simplified. Then this was just like a quick uh, rendered sketch. This was me breaking down the character. And then we go to the three quarter pose. So three quarter pose, this is it fully rendered, as you can tell. And I, I, this is it without the attachments and everything, the accessories. And then here, this was like adding the accessories and adding the, the I guess the vest, as you would call it, um, just to make sure I got it in right. And then here was the sketch. This was the sketch I originally had for that for that piece. So yeah, I think that's about it. Out of all these piles, I think I went through it all. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you guys enjoyed looking to my character designing life for 2D principles of animation. Yeah. <laughs> Hey you guys, what's going on? It is me again. Sorry if I look a little wet. I just got out of the shower. Um, but I'm here to tell you something very, very important. So you guys, um, it is my third week here at SCAD till the third week meeting, three weeks until the end of the quarter. And right now we're having finals. It is finals weeks, I guess not even finals a week. Um, but it's getting really hectic and really stressful here. Uh, so I apologize for the video not being up. At a, at, a, at a reasonable time, I guess. I don't know why I'm apologizing. I'm the one putting it up. You guys gotta wait. <laughs> but yeah, I would have put this video up sooner, but I just have had time. And so today, I have time. Um, so this is gonna be part one. I'm gonna do a part two, talking about the rest of the vlog. It's just, if I put it all into one, it's gonna be one really long vlog. And I think you guys will like a part one and part two. And in the second video, I'm gonna be talking about an artist that follows me. Her name is Celine. She's an amazing artist. So I'm gonna tell you guys more about her and her work. So I think she's pretty amazing. All right. And lastly, uh, if you guys didn't know, every video I try to talk about a new upcoming artist that's a follower of mine or an artist that I follow or that I know of, I guess, if that makes any sense. And I, and I, and I talk about them to tell you guys that, you know, show you guys the stuff and to show other people's work that I think you guys would find inspirational. So next video, I'm talking about Celine. The last video I talked about my friend Leia. Her artwork's phenomenal. So if, if you haven't seen that, please click on the past video, I think, and uh, you can learn more about Leia. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I will tell you, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I will uh, see you guys later. So thank you guys for watching. Bye. I have so much of my homework to do. I got so much homework. I got so much homework. World. Oh, beautiful world out there. Can you do my homework for me? Please. I have so much of my homework to do. I got so much homework. I got so much homework. World. Oh, beautiful world out there. Can you do my homework for me? Please.